Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Sebastian Serpa. He just won the world championships at Brown Belt, taking almost everyone's back in under a minute. So we're gonna go through a really cool system he uses from the X guard or single leg X to take the person's back. A lot of people think of the X guard or single leg X as a sweeping position. It's so easy to get to and you can set it up so many ways that being able to turn it from a sweeping position into a way to take the back makes it extremely powerful. So we're gonna go through first the system of how to use this to take people's back and then some of our favorite ways to set it up. So I'm here in single leg X. My first objective here is to always control this pant leg and keep my hips high, my knees pinched, right? From here, I'm in a pretty dominant spot. Now my next objective is to reach for the far pant, okay? Here. Once I reach for the far pant, it should be pretty easy to double ankle sweep here, right? Usually most people will fall to the double ankle sweep, but some people will stay heavy here, right? When they stay heavy, this is gonna allow me to retract my knee back and put my foot the bottom of my foot, right by the stomach here, okay? When I do this, I wanna bring my knee behind his knee, okay? So it's gonna be very hard for him to leg drag me, okay? Because if I just do it like this, yes, I'm open to a leg drag. So from here, once I place the foot, this is all done at the same time. So it'll be here, put the foot right on the stomach and bring this in, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna bring my knee behind his knee, kinda like a knee wedge here. Now here you could also do another double ankle sweep. But for now we're gonna take the back. Okay, so if he stays up, we're gonna go here, I'm gonna bring my elbow inside here. Okay, if he stays standing from here, I can let go and reach the hip right here. Okay, once I reach the hip, I don't need this grip anymore. I'm gonna start cupping behind his other leg and now start squaring my hips and I'm here in a baby bolo. Okay, from here, grab both hips, extend. Most competitors or high, or high level competitors will not allow you to get this free leg because they know once I get this leg, it's pretty much done, right? So from here, once he steps all the way back, here I can still get it, so he's gonna keep stepping. I'm gonna reach, try to really emphasize on getting this grip so he can step all the way. What this does is gonna make, give, allow me to underhook his leg like this. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna threaten the, the come up, okay? So I'm gonna start placing my foot right here and start coming up here right, for the single leg. What's gonna happen is when I go, they're gonna start fighting all the way back like this. So now, this allows me, like he's basically bringing his leg back. So that allows me to place my foot again right by the stomach, bring my leg in here, and start underhooking like this. From here, I can start reaching for the hip, bring my head to the other side, cut behind the knee, square up, so one common um, situation that could happen from here is as I'm going for his leg, my opponent could probably grab my sleeve. This is very annoying because if I stay here for too long, he can start using this. Ideally, the back step happens when they hold your sleeve here. You see, now I'm in a bad spot. So what I have to do is I have to deny that grip immediately. Even if he makes a grip, I have to, I'm gonna start using my knee to break this grip. Lift my hips up and bring my knee to the outside and start aiming right by the wrist area. As I start pinching, I'm gonna pull my arm at the same time. When I do this, he is pulling back um, his grip, right? So here, as he pulls back, I can now start attacking both pants. And here, sometimes the back take won't even open up. You can just start threatening this attack. And from here, you could start to build an attack underneath from here as well. Yeah. So you and then here, you have several attacks. You can start attacking from double pull, this, so you can start attacking the ankle lock. So one more time really fast guys, the first core idea here is we start in single leg X. If we get the pant leg first, we threaten with the knock back. If you knock him back, then we can attack him once he lands on the floor. So most people will resist by driving back in. That makes this foot easier to lift with and I can switch this knee under here. As I switch under, I bring this knee through and now it's easy to throw this over and progress towards the back. Second option is we're here, right, like this. I look for this pant leg because he steps so far away, it becomes really easy to underhook this leg. Immediately, once I underhook this leg, I threaten coming up, so he drives back into me. I push with this, and that makes it easy to underhook here. We come through to basically the same position and progress towards the back. And then the third option is just your opponent is being very difficult here, and he's holding my sleeve. 
So we start here and then we use our shin to break that grip and progress back to the same system. So again, guys, the reason I think this is so important is setting up a single leg X or X is one of the most common attacks in jiu-jitsu and people usually think of it as a sweep. But if you can convert this position into a consistent back take or win, your conversion rate in tournament for ending the match is gonna go up a lot. So now we're gonna close the video out with a couple different setups that we like to use to set up the single leg X or the X guard so you can more easily implement this into your game. All right guys, so here's a couple different ways you can set up the X. So if you like to play double sleeve, you can have one spider hook, one lasso. I unlasso, kick in between, pull the guy overhead, and immediately I'm in the position. I could immediately threaten the back here, and if he drives forward, just like we did here, I switch under, and now I'm in the position. Uh, another really good one, if you like to play upper body control, is one lapel and one spider hook. A lot of people call this the homolo guard. So I can try to pull over here, and again, we're back in the same position. If you like to play De La Hiva, you could have a pant leg or an ankle, and I get the collar, and as they try to trap this leg, so it's just a perfect, I can bump and boom, I'm under. And this is why I was talking about how critical it is to be good at this because a lot of times people go here and then they just sweep. But if you can turn this into a finish, it just completely changes the game. Another really good one is just the classic shin to shin. So I get a single leg grip, I back up, I feed the shin in, I pull this leg through and I'm back in the same position. Now here I try to knock him back, he drives forward. So I put the foot in, bump him, switch the knee over, and now we're back into the same attack system from here as well. So here's some of my favorite ways to set up the single leg X. Uh, one of them is from my opponents on both knees. So from here, I'm gonna bring my leg right in, in between his legs. And from here, I'm gonna retract my knee just so I could get leverage to push him this way. Now here, I can start setting up my single leg X and we can start attacking from here. Another common setup that I like to use is when my opponent is one knee up and one knee down. From here, I can set up a shin on shin. And start pulling the leg in and out here in single leg X. We could also do the setup from the collar spider, also known as the homulo guard. So my opponent is also is standing up, okay, here in the homulo guard. From here, I'm gonna stomp in between his legs, pull him in, and get my single leg X. 